so <coughs> so you remember the other day how I had to do a white balance on my shirt today I just had to do it on the side of a house I really need whiter things you can spend however long you want at home before you go out trying to do something with your hair you know just trying to make it neat or something only for the wind to ruin it all as soon as you put a toe through your front door even if there's no wind blowing all it takes is just one toe for the wind to go today is an important day <laughs> gotta get out of stop gotta stop saying that it's always an important day but it is always an important day every day is important but today is important for a different reason Days are important because they're days. Today is important because I'm going to meet Liam. Why am I going to meet Liam? Because today, tonight, the night of today, today's... the night at the end of today's day, tonight, tonight is an important night. And I'll tell you why. Tonight is an important night because tonight, me and Liam are going to see Jimmy Carr live on stage doing what he does best. For those of you who don't know, he is a very good, very funny, somewhat offensive stand-up comedian. And we are going to see him live. And all the good stuff that comes with it, we're going to laugh, we're going to do all of that. and. Hopefully, I've been told that after each show he does, he hangs around afterwards to meet people and talk to people and things like that. So hopefully, we won't do what we did for the Queen and miss him. Hopefully, we can chat with him as well. There is a problem with that housing thing because they took down a phone mast that was good for giving me phone signal. and. They took it down, so then I didn't get signal. Then they built a new one over the road, so then I did get signal. And then that aerial was put there illegally. So now I don't have signal anymore because there's no aerials anywhere. Sort it out, world! That was my primary school. And we've had the way tree. It's just occurred to me, it's my phone. It's just occurred to me, it's been 10 years since I left. Ten years ago, I was in my final year at that school. Ten years. That's a long time. And there are so many memories in that place. Like, I... You, I don't know if you can see them, one sec. Like... Those tall trees there... I've got memories of those. Those bushes along the old, um... Patios there. I've got memories of those. Like, the big trees, it always had this really distinctive smell there. And it just used to run around there. It was like a little dirt garden. There wasn't anything special about it. It's just kind of there. And then those bushes, like, <coughs> I used to play this game where uh, people would kind of stand in front of them and then someone else would go in and then jump out and push and push, like, the person. And... I don't know, it was a great game and I got in trouble once because the teacher caught me so sent me to her room to go and spend the rest of playtime you know, which I did and then I walked out again uh, and then I went back into my own classroom and just kind of sat in there pretended, you know, that I wasn't there and then the teacher came in and was like where's Nicholas Ward? I'm over here and she do you know what standing in my room means? Well, go and stand in my room. And she was furious. But, you know, looking back on it, it's a good thing, I guess. Mum and Dad don't know that yet. So, sorry, Mum and Dad. You probably did know that, actually. Mum and Dad know everything. But, yeah, it's just a load of stuff attached to these places. And, like, I walk past it regularly, but it's only just occurred to me that this year it's kind of like the tenth year well, it's been ten years since I left 
Next time we'll do memories of the library. Jimmy Carr, Jimmy Carr, Jimmy Carr, Jimmy Carr, Jimmy Carr, Jimmy Carr, Jimmy Carr. Now we're going to see him. And what was I, I was going to? Oh yeah, I was going to tell you the story about. That was a that was a the motorbike dryer. just farted. No, no, that wasn't a, that was not a motorbike. That was a moped and it was a hair dryer at that. The powered bicycle farted. Carry on. Yeah, I've uh, I was talk I remember I was saying earlier about how um, hopefully we're going to meet the man himself, Mr. Jimmy Carr. I've already met him, quote unquote. I've kind of met him at a petrol station. Um, this was four years ago, and it was at a BP garage with a drive-through McDonald's, and. Me and some friends were going away for my birthday and we'd stopped off at this garage so my dad can get some fuel. And we got out of the car just to have a little bit of a mosey around the shop. And we walked past this guy in a suit, like through the door. We walked through the door and then the guy in the suit walked past, didn't think of anything anything of it. And then like one one of our friends has turned around and he's gone, Is that is that Jimmy Carr? And so he turned around and we could see Jimmy Carr getting into his car. And we're like, quick, 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 get the camera out, get the camera out, take a photo of Jimmy Carr! And we tried so hard, but we, we didn't. We got a photo of Jimmy Carr's car, but not of Jimmy Carr. Yeah, try making sense of that one. <laughs> try saying that while you're drunk. <laughs> we got a photo of the car... The car... car the, the, the... Vehicle that belonged yeah. to Jimmy Carr. We got a photo... It was a Bentley. Actually, he had a nice car, he had a Bentley, okay, but we so only got a photo of Jimmy okay, Carr's so car. Now is the time to get a photo of Jimmy Carr minus car. Try and saying all this while you're drunk. Any, <laughs> I was going to say anything to add, but I concur. Do the Jimmy Carr's car challenge today, as long as you're drunk. Don't get drunk to do it, that's irresponsible. Do it when you are drunk. It's good advice, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Drink safely and have fun. Don't drive. Like Jimmy Carr. Ever. Like Jimmy Carr. <laughs> Don't drive. I have no idea what just happened to my face. <laughs> what did you do? I told Jimmy Carr about my, about my worst present experience. My hand is really shaking. Yeah, and what was it? It was a pack of Harry Potter Christmas crackers from my birthday. And what did he call you? He called me a fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> and a giant, and also a giant. Yeah. With a proper South, with a proper South London accent. No, no, no. What did he say about your voice? Proper South London accent. And? That I'm a giant, that I sound like a giant, what was it? A, a friendly, what was it? It's something giant. I believe you said something along the lines of you have a really weird voice. Yeah. I'm really sorry about this camera. This is madness. This is like, oh, like, look, look at it. Yeah, no, that's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're really shaky, mate. Anyway, what do we, what's the verdict? Halfway through. Been amazing. Very, very good. Got some news. I went on stage. And I got this, I got a signed thing in my bag. Um, and yeah, what did I do? I went on stage, he wanted uh, two people to help act in like, his sitcom. sitcom. And he wanted someone with acting experience and someone else to be a woman. And after much persuasion. And I went for the part with acting experience because I'm an actor. And yeah, let's not forget you had to get pushed into it. Yeah, okay, I had to be coaxed, but I'm glad you did. Because I went up and <laughs> got ridiculed, but that's what happens. There was no safe way to do it. Even if I'd worn something sensible, I'd have gone up and gotten it. But I went up and I played this part in his the sitcom of his best friend Tony. Um, I got to clasp his knee, held him to his knee. That's pretty cool because I had to play uh, a man who was getting married but was having gay feelings for Jimmy Carr. Um, and then it culminated in me singing, 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 <laughs> in me saying <laughs> YMCA the song. I was like, ah. was I embarrassed? Yeah.
Do I care? No. No. Basically, he's a very happy man. He's very... This more than makes up for the time I missed him in the petrol garage. And I got to keep the marshmallows he made me eat, because he made me eat like 14 marshmallows and then sent and the, the next and, and, the, <laughs> and, and the horrifying thing is, he managed to actually fit them all in his mouth. Yeah, about 14 marshmallows. Pretty good. And then he had to spit them all out again. Oh, but that's not hey, 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 hey. I, I kept seven of them in my mouth. Yeah, alright, alright. He kept seven. He, he spat out half of them. Yeah, look, and, he got, still, and, uh, and he got told that he could keep them back in the bag. Look, there's marshmallow, marshmallow residue on my hand. Uh, I don't know what else. Let's just say this was wrapping up. He was he was fucking amazing. We both got he we both got heckled. We both took part. It was just amazing. Can't say anything else other than that. I'm a freakishly I'm a freakishly uh, accent. I've got a freakish accent, and apparently he could smell me up from a mile off. I'm a giant, and um, and you do a very good homosexual impersonation of the YMCA. Which I think he is bloody ironic. Heterosexual, he said. It was the most heterosexual YMCA ever. This, together with the Paralympics. He's ecstatic. He's ecstatic. Happiest week going. I will just see you all in whatever the he next video like is. He feels like a pedo in a candy store. <laughs> Not quite like that. <laughs> not that happy. I, f I feel happy, not horny. <laughs> Next time you're at the checkout and you hear the beep, boop, boop. Um, <laughs> always remember you're beyond Supermarket Sweep or whatever it was. Anyway, yes, I'll see you in whatever the next video is and whenever it is.